Hi guys, fan cams next on's Luke. Uh, Luke, um, five game run come to an end. Um, probably not the right manner, really. I think I think we were very poor tonight, weren't we? Very, very poor. Yeah, um, <laughs> it was painful to watch. To be fair, um, it end. Yeah. I do, it, I, I don't know. I'm gonna uh, question starting lineup. Um, I don't know why Freeze were playing at right wing back. That baffled me. Um, I know it's. I know players should be able to play in different positions, but from go, from going to playing in the front three to play at right wing back away at Cardiff is a, a big ask for him, and he looked mm. out of his depth there. He's been really playing well up. upfield though, hasn't he? So yeah, why? I, I don't get why I take him out of there. Yeah, for me, Styles should have been up right, and Ador should have started up left. Um, we could see we looked, even though we were still playing shit, we we were a lot more balanced anyway. We were Ador in team up left hand side because Styles were having to cut in because he's not a left footer. Ador mm. can open his feet up. Um, it's quite scary how much we're missing Callum Britton, Williams and Woodrow, isn't it? And yeah. it must have shown again strength in depth, mate. Um, we're quite reliant on a few players. And I know we beat Watford and I know we beat QPR. Um, we're up front. I keep saying it. When are we going to get this free agent striker in? Well, it's shown tonight, yeah. mate. Keith for more man at match performance for Cardiff. Won everything. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I don't think Cardiff played amazingly well. They probably. I don't probably think they needed done. to, Luke. I don't think no. they needed to. Five or six out of ten. Did basics at back. Nelson and Morrison cleared everything up. Yeah. Got a couple of good lads on ball in uh, Oilett and Wilson up top. More wins your free kicks. He affects yeah. your defenders. And um, Anderson and Elliot couldn't live with him because he, he, he all manned them so many times with free kicks that we didn't need to make. Let, I'm going to go through goals because I think first two especially I thought were appalling in terms of game management. First three minutes in a game, you set up, you set up just to stay in the game. If you, you know, if you have a dodgy start, just stay in it. Yeah. Game management's gone out at window, and game plan's gone out at window after three minutes. And Why then, has Bennett got so much space on that left hand side to get that ball in? Yeah. Who's, who's mark it? There's Mowat there, and he's in, he's in no man's land because there's two Bennies trying to mark. Who's the who's meant to be marking Bennett? Three ball in. Elick, why has he jumped in? He didn't need to. He's gone in bullied in a China shop and there were no need. Stay on your feet. And fair play to Oilet. A great turn and a great finish, but we bet it's so easy for him. Yeah. And, 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 and that second goal, Luke, like, like you said, three, four minutes in, bad bad time to concede and then we go and get a penalty away or bang on half-time. Three minutes before half-time. Again, yeah. game management, naivety. And um, I think there were no need for him to make that tackle. Mm. Best well, Wilson could have done with probably chip it in and you know for best, but there were no need. They were, we were either going out to play, or you know, even if people are saying it's a soft penalty, don't give the referees a decision to make. Why exactly. is he gone to floor again? Yeah. There were no need for him to go to floor there. So then one nil, you think, well, no matter how shit we played, you take a one nil, no matter how shit you play, you go into half time, you give him a rocket up ass, one nil, you're still in game. Two nil, it's a mountain to climb. Yeah. We've, we've, we've been the architects of his own downfall and it, you know, no matter who comes in as coach, Stendhal, Struber and Ishmael, we've still got vulnerabilities in his game and we've mm. still got bad habits. Like I said, three minutes into the game we concede, three minutes before half-time we concede and both avoidable goals, in my mm. opinion. You deal with them better, they don't score it first half because they didn't really do much else in that first half for me. No. Walton didn't have much to do except them two goals. Um... Samoas, he just showed you that Ishmael probably knew that he set up wrong because we took, took Samoas after 40 minutes. Yeah. And he was a waste to a sub, really, isn't it? Waste to a sub, but, you know, for me, Irby Kane, and I not even got on tonight. Um, Adebe, Ajo and Alma, I knew when they were making them subs that we were just going, we were just gaining, it just felt like we were gaining minutes. It yeah. just says everything we're having to throw a big lad on. We, sh we should have, sorry about it, just the uh, cameras, we should have lads in All the right. team. That should be, you know, when Woodrow's not there. I just think we had no presence up top. Second half, the, again, this frustrates me. Why do we have to start playing football when we're 2-0 down? Mm. First, 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 first minutes in first half, second half, sorry. We, 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 we started moving it about, didn't we? That's only because Ishmael gave them bollocking at half-time, yeah. I imagine. But then again, Cardiff probably laid off us a little bit. They were, they yeah, were comfortable at 2-0. You know, their keeper, I don't think he had one save to make except that Schmidt header that yeah. were probably going over anyway or hitting bar at most in that second half or first half. Yeah. Um, again, toothless up front and 
we got away with it on Saturday because we did a great defensive workman-like performance. We got an early goal. We worked hard. We grafted and we wanted it more. Mm. And today, it's scary to see in the contrast uh, sat four days, three days, that we can play like that against probably one of the best teams in league. And f- fair play to Cardiff. They did the basics well. And like you said, they didn't have to play at the best to get the three points today. But that's a disappointing performance. You can't look on that. I want somebody to come out and tell me and try and defend that performance because you, cause you, cause you can't defend that performance on that mm. basis. Mm. You can't defend that performance. And I know we've been five unbeaten before and we had a great result at Watford and QPR. But I'm looking on tonight's performance. I'm mm. focusing on tonight. Forget rest of them performances. Yeah. Um, but then five unbeaten games, that means no, now nah, we're back at square one. We have to start again. Maybe it's a bit of a good wake-up call for the players that we can't, you know, we shouldn't need reminding now because, you know, we shouldn't be taking games complacently. The lads mm. didn't look bothered for me, body language from start. They just didn't look. They just didn't look up for it. Yeah, and you said, Lou, didn't you? You said it had been won in midfield, and we and and tonight it, tonight it was because the likes of James and Mowats they couldn't get up ball properly. The 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 were the were yeah. game. Really frustrating. We're one nil down, and what do we do? We start panicking on ball. You mm. need to stay in game and get composure on ball and work your way into it, even if you're playing poor. That's what we did against QPR last week. We didn't yeah. have a great start to the game, but we worked into it. Keep on ball, keep a bit of possession. Defence couldn't get wait, couldn't wait to get rid of it. I mean, who's told them that to lump ball forward for Schmidt when they've got Nelson and Morrison at back that's going to win every header? Well, I, 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 didn't, I, I, didn't, I didn't know what the game plan were, tactics tonight, mate, because we were hitting it long. And you look at who were up front, Schmidt, Chaplin, and... Uh, or whatever, uh, Simoes. Do you know what I mean? All, all these. Oh no, no. Really little front but but it, it, even hitting it long, mate. They were never ever. They never won an header. time, only time it was going to work is if it dropped for us, and we've picked up second ball and we picked up scraps. But even then, we didn't have enough men going forward. There were no intensity, and like I said, we missed the likes of Britain and Adore should be starting for me. Mm. Adore, and it, whilst you know this, this again, this highlights that we need another left back, and we need for me two strikers in January. Mm. That is my opinion. 100%. Well, that, maybe even after international, in Brett Luke. Well, we should. This Adam Murray were on about this five weeks ago when mm. he was caretaker boss. We're looking at players, we're talking to players. Ishmael's been in three, two, two weeks now. It's his second week. We're talking to players. It needs to come to a point that you make a decision. You need to get somebody in for Saturday. That is my opinion because mm. we're. Unless Woodrow comes back in, we're going to have to rely on Woodrow again. But we just seem to be, in terms of up front, this has been an issue since 2017. Yeah. When we lost Bradshaw and then we lost Moore. We always seem to be cheap. We always need another striker. Why? We're a championship team. We shouldn't have to be like making do with wingers that are strikers that can play up front. That can play full back. Don't tonight. <laughs> yeah. You know, you need, for me, you need a genuine free art and art championship strikers. And if not, you're on about recruitment. Look, look what we did with Britain. We got a young lad from League One ready to step up. So there are lads down there that are ready to come in that we ain't cost a lot of money. We've got free agents. The only thing that you need to pay for them is your wages. And then it's looking, you know, there's no transfer fee involved there. Um, well, just, yeah, that third goal and, you know, that just summed it up. You know, good finish by Wilson. But again, just hmm. play, it, I don't know. It's just a... A right off tonight, Lou. Yeah, yeah massive, massive. Really disappointing, really disappointing performance. And the lads will know that themselves. That you know, I, I can't really comment on anybody that's had a decent game because no. as, from back to front and then subs that came on, they just didn't do anything. And we, we didn't seem like ever scoring. There were no creativity. And this is what I'm on about Herbie Kane. We've paid £1.25 million and we're not even giving him a game. Mm-hmm. And he sat on bench there. This is when players become become unhappy because he'll have had assurances he's going to play. And then he sat on bench there. And well, I think like, it, I, we might see him sat there, Luke. That's the only thing I can think of tonight's we, performance. No. He's got to play, no, we, so... We can't, you know, there's there's lads in that midfield. Simoes had a good chance tonight to, to claim a, you know, a regular starting yeah. player. Didn't take it. Schmidt, whilst Woodrow's out. And took it, has he? No. Um, oh. Chaplin's been, you know, Chaplin's been quiet. The, you know, even subs that came on, you know, Adore, I think he should have started. So, like you said, that's a waste of a sub. You're making that at 40 minutes. You know that something's not working. So, I'd, it's back to drawing board. The lads are going to have a look at themselves. I'm sure Ishmael will be sitting them down. But it's so frustrating that we've lost 3-0. Cardiff haven't even, like, absolutely outbeat us. And 
we've just we've just gifted him for me. We yeah. just gifted him that game. He have it on a plate. We may as well have just conceded that game because. <laughs> Well, I, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to get on him because obviously it's for it's me. Only it's only third game, in it? And it's only his only his first away but, first away game as well. But he's set up wrong, mm. and he's got to admit that. And I, the fans that are out there that have a go at me quite a lot have got to admit. You look at that starting eleven. You play a freezer at front on Saturday, and then you think it's logical to put him at right wing back away at Cardiff on a Tuesday when you played Styles and Adore in the last forty five minutes against Watford. And we look really strong in that last 45. They'd already a decent game in that second half. So you start him, natural left back. You start Styles, a natural right footer, even though he's playing out of position. Mm. And then you go from there. Same back five, don't change anything. If anything, it should have been Kane, James and Moe. I don't know why he's changed mm. that there because it seemed to upset the balance of the team. Yeah. Because Freeza didn't even know half the time we were just punting it forward. There were no mm. ball retention. We weren't keeping hold at ball. Four or five yard passes at times at midfield we just like sloppiness. There's, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say. Look, except a really disappointing performance, and yeah. it's frustrating because we played so well on Saturday, and then we go to this. This just sums Barnsley FC up in. in oh, uh, it's it's typical Barnsley, mate. It's typical Barnsley. So I'll have to. Uh, well.